Welcome to the Fun Accountant. In preparation for showing and testing the bank reconciliation function in Sage Accounting, we are going to review the workspace area. Sage Accounting's workspace is a home screen where the most important tasks that a business needs to perform are grouped together. The workspace contains widgets that conveniently takes you directly to the action you need to complete. Sage Accounting's workspace brings clarity and guidance to conquer administrative and other business tasks. For business people that are not familiar with accounting, the workspace gives guidance from where you can navigate yourself to get things done. We are talking about tasks like doing customer quotes, creating invoices, ordering, buying and receiving goods, as well as recording bank transactions. If you are interested in getting a quick overview of the workspace and how to customize it for your own needs, follow me in this video as I am customizing my workspace by adding the bank reconciliation widget. In my opinion, the workspace is an excellent starting place, especially for people new to formalizing business tasks and with little or no accounting experience. Because of its importance, we have also made a longer, more in-depth video designated to the workspace feature in Sage Accounting. Check it out on our YouTube channel. You may ask, how do I access the Sage workspace? You might find yourself at the dashboard view when first starting out with Sage. The dashboard in Sage is another brilliant feature, giving you powerful graphs and other business reports which you may find quite useful. There are two ways of navigating to the workspace. Firstly, you scroll down right to the bottom of the dashboard screen and there, written in smallish blue font, you will find My Workspace. Click on it and you are directed to the workspace. Alternatively, back at the dashboard screen, go to the top navigation menu bar under Home and then down to the bottom to the last item, My Workspace. Click on it. At the workspace, you are greeted with the phrase, What do I need to do today? Typically, it tells you that guidance is being provided from here. You can see the different widgets that are activated on the workspace. The dashboard, create a quote, create an invoice, customer receipts, create a credit note. The first line of widgets all appear to be related to customer type transactions and tasks, except for a dashboard widget. Then in the second line you get the create a supplier invoice, supplier payments, import bank statements, record expenses, view bank transactions, then send customer statements which are a bit out of order, profit and loss reporting, balance sheet, change company settings and the supplier balances which is also out of order. In the last row of widgets you find customer balances, item reports and allocate supplier payments. Let's customize my workspace screen. Back at the top of the screen, click on a blue Customize button. A whole world of hidden widgets display. You can distinguish the hidden widgets from the active ones by the small green plus buttons. These plus icons also tells you that you use them to add a widget to your workspace home screen. There are many widgets available here that can be useful, for example, the supply returns, bank feeds, Budgets, Invite an Accountant, Recurring Invoices, Create a Purchase Order and many more. In this example, I'm only interested in adding the Reconcile Bank Statement shortcut to my workspace and I click on the green plus button. You can see that the Reconcile Bank Statement widget has been added because it has a cross sign marked next to it. Remember to save the setting. From your workspace area, you can direct straight to the bank reconciliation function by clicking on the reconcile bank statement widget. 
that now appears at the bottom of my workspace home screen. This is as much as I can show you about the Sage workspace for now. Hopefully you can apply it in your own end. In our next video, we are going to put the bank statement reconciliation to use, as I will be doing one in real life, showing you how it works on a smallish net cash bank statement in Sage Accounting. See you soon!